Hey guys, this is Vic A50 tablet and in this video, I'm going to review it and tell you if it's worth buying. I have already done unboxing and first impressions video about this Vic A50 tablet, which you can check in the description below or click on the iCard somewhere over here to watch that video. I have gone through basically the basic stuff like build quality and other things that you need to know about this one as well as unboxing. So okay, why is this tablet becoming popular among artists, graphics designers and professionals alike? Even if you are a new user, maybe tutoring or taking classes and giving presentations, this tablet can be very very useful and it can be used casually as well like a mouse. Okay, so first thing that I loved about this week A50 is its build quality, like the fit and finish is really nice as well as sleek. It just looks like a chocolate bar, make sure you don't eat it. So there are 8 buttons and a gesture pad uh, which can be everything customized according to your liking. For example, I use this gesture pad to zoom in and zoom out by swiping up and down respectively. Uh, double tap using two fingers to fit on the screen. Again, you can customize it fully as you prefer. Some buttons have lines embossed like uh, outwards which is really helpful I felt in knowing which button you are pressing. Attention to detail like this on the tablet is very helpful. There is also a switch to actually turn off and on the gesture pad like if you are uh, thinking that it's coming in between while you are drawing you can literally turn it off. Connecting to PC or laptop is very easy. Remember this tablet is not compatible with mobile devices. Uh, of course it can be used with Mac operating system as well as Windows. Now in order to connect the tablet you need to download the driver just go to Vic tablet website you can find the link in the description below. So just download the driver from website which is only one step thing actually uh, like you don't have to find out the model and do all that uh, thing uh, it's not complicated it's very easy just single click on the uh, download file whether you are using Mac or Windows and once you download and install just plug in the provided USB cable which is USB-C which is again nice thing to PC or your laptop and open the software as usual instantly and automatically it recognizes. Now here you can customize all the layout like how much space you want to use. The awesome thing about this tablet here uh, is there is actually option to use it like a mouse and uh, with this the cursor movement becomes a little bit fast as compared to the usual pen uh, movement. So it becomes fast and is a joy to use it like a mouse. So how's the pen? Well first of all it's battery free. The pen feels quite natural to hold if your hands are medium to large or it takes getting used to a little bit. Uh, so it has two buttons, the default one is for brush and eraser swap and the other one for right click action. I wish the button was slightly texturized or maybe slightly more prominent because it's often hard to find the button wherever you want to perform quick swap or quick actions like it's not uh, so much prominent that you will quickly find the buttons actually. So it will be like searching on which side the button is located. It's pretty seamless with the pen that I can say. The tips or the nibs. Uh, can be replaced and is provided inside the box along with the tip remover as well. Now coming to the important aspect on why you should actually buy this tablet and how this actually performs. Now this has a 10 by 6 inch uh, work area tablet, it's pretty standard with 8192 levels pressure sensitivity. The report rate is 250 RPS and 5080 LPI resolution. Now the reading height is uh, like 10 millimeter from the surface of the tablet to the pen tip. As you can see how precise and smooth it is, but occasionally the pen wouldn't react quickly as I draw something. Uh, sometimes I felt that there is slight delay and at times I, it was working just fine. So there is sensitivity control and adjusting it to optimal uh, level helped me actually resolve that. So I recommend you first set everything as required one time and then start actually using it. So many applications like uh, uh, even uh, as you can see on the screen are supported which means you can seamlessly switch between the apps and can use it without any hassle. This tablet lets you customize buttons, gestures for each application individually which is awesome and super convenient I feel. Now I, I wish the pen came with a dock or a stand or at least there was a cap for this one you know to just have some safety for the tips but there is this beautiful looking soft case nonetheless for pen. So guys if you are in the market looking for a tablet I think with the functions and features this tablet has to offer I highly recommend you buy this one and just look at the price it's so affordable as compared to other competitors in the market with similar specs as well as uh, customization options. Now remember this has a unique gesture pad again which makes it a very unique tablet. So the link is in the description section of this video you can find the link for the latest updated pricing and Wikik highly recommends this tablet. So don't forget to click on that subscribe button for more videos like and share it with your friends and uh, yeah alright guys see you all in another one until then take care everyone bye bye.